What if I told you there's one number that tells you whether your returns are actually worth the risk you're taking? That's what the Sharpe Ratio is all about. In this video I'll break down in plain English, no PhD required, what the Sharpe Ratio measures, how to calculate it, why it matters for traders, investors and fund managers, and how to tell you if your strategy is actually doing a good job. So let's turn confusing math into real world strategy. The Sharpe Ratio is a risk adjusted return metric. It tells you how much return you are earning for each unit of risk you are taking. In other words, a high Sharpe Ratio means efficient more smooth performance and a low Sharpe Ratio means that the returns are not worth the roller coaster ride. It's one of the most popular metrics in all of finance and for a reason. Now the Sharpe Ratio was created by William F. Sharpe in the 1960s. He later won a Nobel Prize for his work in portfolio theory. Now Sharpe wanted a way to compare investments not just by return, but by how much volatility or risk they had endured to get those returns. His goal was to have a simple one number summary of the risk adjusted performance. Here is the basic formula. The Sharpe ratio is the portfolio return minus the risk free rate divided by the portfolio standard deviation. Now let's break that down. The portfolio return is your average return over the years. The risk free rate is what you'd earn from a safe investment, like for example the US Treasury bills, and the standard deviation is how much your returns fluctuate. In other words, how bumpy the ride is. The result is that you are now able to see how much extra return you're getting per unit of risk. Let's look at an example. Here are two traders, Bob and Alice. Now Bob's portfolio has an average return of 15%, a risk free rate of 5% and a standard deviation of 12%. If you are subtracting 5 from 15 and that divide by 12, then you get a Sharpe ratio of 0.83. Not terrible, but kind of bumpy. Now let's take a look at Alice's portfolio. She has an average return of 12%, she has the same risk free rate of 5% and the standard deviation also of 5%. Her Sharpe ratio is calculated as follows. Subtract 5 from 12 and that divide by 5. And this means that she has a Sharpe ratio of 1.4. So you see here Alice has a much higher Sharpe. She is getting more return with much less risk. Now even though Bob earns more on paper, Alice is the better risk adjusted performer. Now if you are going to calculate the Sharpe ratio for your own portfolio, then here is a cheat sheet to determine for you what the Sharpe ratio actually means. Now everything below 1 is the risk not worth the return, so here is a weak performance. The Sharpe ratios between 1 and 1.5 are decent. And everything between 1.5 and, and 2 is strong risk adjusted return. And if you have a sharp ratio of above 2, then you can tap yourself on the back because these are excellent pro level efficiencies. The sharp ratio has actually more uses too. For example, you can compare two portfolios with different volatilities, you can evaluate whether a fund manager is earning their fee, or you can use it to evaluate your backtest and your own trading strategy's consistency. Or if you are analyzing crypto, forex or leverage strategies, then Sharpe Ratio is a must. You can build smoother and more reliable systems. Let's wrap this video up. First of all, the Sharpe Ratio is where you divide the return above the risk free rate by your volatility. It tells you actually how much worth your returns are. And a higher Sharpe Ratio means smoother, smarter investing. Now if this short video helped you out by making sense of the Sharpe Ratio, then click the like button and subscribe to my channel. In further videos I will talk about more about performance like ratios, for example like the Sortino ratio. That's a sharp upgrade that only penalizes downside risk. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!